Hello. How is everyone? Good. Awesome. Okay, hi. That's really loud. My name is Marin. Um, I'm a junior from Duchenne, and this poem is called A New Kind of Bedroom. Every school morning, just as the sun wounds the charcoal sky, I plod down my sidewalk to my car. And my mother peers through our front window, her eyes kaleidoscopes anticipating a hundred scenarios gone wrong because I am a girl walking alone in the dark, an object of affection to the shadows. She thinks I am safer on the road than in my driveway, and I resent it. Constantly reminded how easily my body can be broken into with every solitary stride through a parking lot, I have two options. Tremble like the cracked tar beneath my feet, anticipating every grope to my grade school innocence, or I can thunder over this cement stadium where the game is never in my favor. Ignore the odds, protect my pride. Either way, I am succumbing to a weakness. You see, my body is a chapel. Sanctuary to the religion of myself, but that does not mean all are welcome here. This lap is no pew for curious strangers. My chest is not a relic. One touch and you're enlightened. I am a hymn of which you are not worthy. But you might force me to sing anyway as I pray for my body's dignity while you pray over it once. A man walked by my friend and me in a starry parking lot, and I immediately thought the worst. Two gripped body parts at dances by boys I don't know. Three bearded and greedy. His lingering eyes made my heart choke. Four. Women all share the same nightmares. Waking up, watching ourselves become graffitied flesh, but we've stopped mentioning them. I am charred bitterness by a cycle I did not ask to be a part of where I unrightfully begrudge my mother's panic while some girls do not even have a mom who fears the vandalization of the art she has created. These limbs cannot declare independence because even though a woman's anatomy is her home, she is never safe from invasion. I never used to be scared of monsters until my mother began telling me well-intentioned stories of the ravenous creatures of desire scavenging for doe eyes and spindly legs, and now I understand. You do not fear the monsters concealed beneath your mattress, but those that force your body into a bed. 